as we've seen so often in Hollywood. Sometimes the way that they decide to go out and promote these movies is to be completely and totally divisive, to say to the audience, well, if you don't support this, well, you must just be a racist. And that's basically what we got from Viola Davis in the lead up to The Woman King. Viola Davis says audiences who don't see The Woman King are supporting the narrative that black women cannot lead the box office globally. If you don't go and pay to see this movie, you're hurting black women. will never be in any movies in lead roles ever. It's effectively what she came out and said. And of course, we've seen a lot of controversy surrounding The Woman King as people started to realize, huh, interesting that they took this story, interesting that they're showing these people as the protagonists, and a lot of people are starting to catch on to that. The Woman King rewrites history for a feminist twist on the slave trade. This is one of the most honest articles that I've found on this. Hollywood often takes liberties, but there's a distinction to be made between poetic license and historical revisionism. And if we've talked, as we've talked about before, what they did in the lead up to this movie, months and months, weeks before, they were saying, we're so proud of this true story. We're so proud of the inspiration we received from these people in this true story. Well, now all of a sudden, after it comes out, after the backlash, after disappointing box office numbers, what do they come back out and say? Well, you know, we just had to make things up. Uh, you know, we had to we had to fictionalize it for everybody. Man, what a different story you're telling now that everybody has caught on to this. Behind the facade we see in battle, Nasica, loosely based on a real person, is the one who's wrought with guilt over enslaving her fellow man and woman. She pleads with King Gezo, who ruled Dahomey, to withdraw from the trade, suggesting he instead assert economic dominance in the region by relying on the kingdom share of palm oil. Epic battles between these people ensue. And spoiler alert, the surviving European slavers are sent packing. It's a tale that makes for a compelling, mostly sympathetic watch, but it requires you to go in the theater blind as I did. And it requires you to stay that way and stay away from Google after you leave, which I did not. Absent from the film is that the Kingdom of Dahomey's success did not hinge on the abolition of slavery. Its demise did, which came about when Great Britain crippled the trade. After the king rebuffed their insistence that he stopped buying and selling human beings, the British instituted a naval blockade in the early 1850s and forced his hand. Uh, they had to fight. Great Britain had to fight to stop slave trade from these very same people that are being celebrated. Hollywood has often taken liberties in telling historical dramas. This isn't new, but there's an important distinction to be made between poetic license and historical revisionism. To portray Dahomey as a kingdom of freedom fighters would be akin to producing a movie about the Confederacy as an anti-slavery republic starring Robert E. Lee as the primary abolitionist. Society would rightfully reject such a film, at least in today's day and age. But The Woman King has received a warm, critical reception in reviews from the country's largest media outlets that fail to reckon with or even mention the historical conflict. Viola Davis reigns supreme, writes the Washington Post, whose critics add that whether or not the slave-driven moral quandary is literally true to life is beside the point. Okay, she slays, says the New York Times. The movie's not only truly inspiring, but no white saviors need apply. The slave trade, but make it feminist. Ironically, the white people had the ones that had to go back down there to stop the slave trade. This has not been good. And when you do look at the box office results, you see the Woman King down to third in the box office, 7 million this weekend, which you know isn't horrific. It isn't terrible. It's sitting right now at $50 million worldwide. $50 million. This movie needs to make at least 125 before it even thinks about breaking even. Beyond that, if it wants to actually be profitable. But when you market something as anti-white, anti-colonialist, Look at, all, look at all these strong black women and just kind of ignore the reality of the situation. You know, ignore the reality of the situation of what's actually going on and what actually went on and instead make them the protagonists. Man, there's a lot of people that were not happy about this on social media. A lot of people in the black community that were saying boycott Woman King. Like that's what we saw when it came out, the boycott Woman King trend. It wasn't coming from angry white people. No, it was coming from people in the black community that realized they're celebrating people that sold their ancestors into slavery in Africa. 
So yeah, this movie is a complete and total mess in terms of the reception. Now, if you look anywhere but Rotten Tomatoes, it certainly doesn't look good. Uh, Metacritic, 2.5. IMDb, it's at a 6 right now with a lot of one-star reviews. Somehow, some way, same way it was right when it came out, The Woman King sit at a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, we did videos on this, how it seems like a lot of these five-star reviews are bad. It seems like a lot of these five-star reviews could be about anything and everything. Weren't critical, like, didn't even talk about the movie itself, just like, amazing movie, love the action, amazing movie, it was cool. Love this movie. This was awesome. Almost like it's artificial. Almost like they're being protected for some reason. Or maybe this just truly is the greatest movie of all time. But, you know, somehow can't get too many people to actually show up to support it. This is what happens when you decide to market it this way. This is what happens when you decide to play identity politics and virtue signal. And you go so far. You just want to make this movie so badly that you decide to revise all of history. That They're the people that you should be rooting for. And, you know, this one person tells that king, you know, we really shouldn't be doing this. That's made up. That never happened. These women were totally all about doing this. These women went around. They killed a bunch of people in every town they could go to, enslaved the rest to sell them to white people. That's the reality of the situation. Some people don't want to acknowledge that, but a lot of reviewers are starting to catch on to what was happening with the woman king. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well, and I'll talk to you guys later.